welcome back to another Sky Factory, my fellow friends. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I'm having a great one myself. And, well, I recorded a beautiful episode for you guys. And as always, not as always, but as sometimes happens, there was a technical difficulty with the audio. I don't know what, the last couple episodes I've had a few little gremlins. And I'm not sure where they're coming from. But I think I got them sorted out now, so... I'm sorry. We made a little bit of progress. We have like about 30 or 40 minutes worth of progress that I recorded that you guys are going to miss. But we're going to recap it here shortly. Ooh, cave. What's down here? Ooh, what's that? Mushrooms. Ooh, a whole bunch. All right, let's grab a few of these things. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go back and we'll take a look at what? We'll go back and take a look at that. I have, I don't think I've ever been in this cave before. Oh my goodness, all the goodies. Let's grab everything we can here. Let's just do like a quick mushroom run. Ooh, what's this? Is this a big ones? Wow, this is so cool. Oh, weird. Is there like creatures up there and stuff? Okay, let's see where this goes. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, anyways, as I was saying. Uh, yeah, so we made some progress. Uh, I managed to get the coal factory up and running. What's this here? Not enough space. Not enough space. Not enough space. Okay, let's get rid of those things. There we go. Let's grab this work and process summer sloop. Sloop. Cool. Nice. It's making lots of noise anyways. Yeah, so I made some progress. Made the coal uh, plant. Uh, coal generation. Also got a miner up and running. And we also automated a truck. Yeah, so... You guys miss qu kind of quite a bit, but yeah, I don't know what to do about it. I I, I was thinking about over, like re-recording over top of it, and then I was just like, you know, it's just not going to be the same. So we're just going to recap, and I'll show you what we did. It was pretty cool. We built all some stuff. We goofed off. We almost fell to our death with a ton of materials on our body. Uh, but uh, other than that, okay, so this just comes up here. Otherwise, it was very successful. We learned a bunch about how to make the pathing and the autopilot work for the truck. And you kind of see it. Uh, you might see. You see the tr truck station at the top middle there. Well, you see there's two of them. Yeah. Well, anyways. It's going between those two now, and it uh, seems to be working pretty good. And right now, the reason I'm c collecting all these resources is we actually need some biofuel. We're, we're pretty much all out. And now with the truck running back and forth uh, that means we have this extra need for fuel uh, because it burns uh, about I don't know maybe 20 or 30 units per round trip so yeah that's a thing all right we're back I tossed something in here for analysis some of the green slugs the crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fixit technology Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Okay. Let's check out Hub Tier 1. All right. So, um, Tier 1, Fabric, Biomass. I think they lied there. Tier 2, actually, is what they meant to say. Overclock buildings. Okay. We can actually probably do that right now. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff here, too. Oh, oh, look at this. Scanner for that ore. Oh, and we get the Mark II power pole. Oh, that might be so useful right now. Aha. Okay, so we got a lot of work to do. We've done a lot of kind of discovering, which is cool. Uh, okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted here. So, going to make some fuel. Actually, I'm going to make distract myself even more. If we take the constructor what do we need we need reinforced plates yeah let's make a few of these guys it'd be nice to actually manufacture biofuel automatically and i'm not entirely sure how we can do that can we just plot this down constructor i guess we could just plop it down and feed it material like i don't know is there is there other than me can we make biofuel I don't know that we can. Okay, so as I was promising, I'm going to show you what we did in the lost episode. So we built the coal plant, which looks like it's fully jammed up now. And I believe... 
yeah, this is all done as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm not sure where the vehicle is. It seems to be probably, you know, if I was to guess, we probably ran out of power down there, so there's nothing going on. And the truck probably has no fuel, so <laughs> it might be stuck. But you can see these blue markers here. And let's see here. Uh, that's not what I want to do. We'll do that. Yeah, so those blue markers are the path nodes that I created for the truck to go along. And it's a pretty cool little truck. Let us uh, let me just see if I can find it. Uh, also, I was going to do a little bit of damage. Let's see if I can hit this thing. No? Why can't I cut that tree down? Can I cut this tree down? There we go. How much wood is that going to give me? Nice. Uh, yeah, so I'm on a mission, a bit of a mission to get some fuel because I know we're going to run out soon. Uh, let's see if we can find that truck as well. And I'll bring you back as soon as we can. And then I'll take you down to where we're getting the actual coal from. Are you going to cut? Are you going to cut? There you go. Nice. And uh, I can show you what we've got going on down there. All right, you can see us coming down here. It looks like the truck has stopped. So either everything's full or it's out of gas. And it seems like everything's running. So I'm going to venture a guess that it's probs out of fuel. Or what's going on here? What's what you doing, buddy? Autopilot on. Let's check your fuel reserve. You can see in the back here. Aha, so it doesn't have any fuel as we suspected. Off it goes, goodbye. And in here should be a whole bunch of coal. And down here's our coal plant. So basically, we mine the coal, it comes up and gets put into this truck station, which then gets loaded up by the this, this truck station into the truck, and then the truck heads off. As you can see, it follows the path that we created here. And uh, I'm gonna have to try to turn those off when I'm in the truck itself. And that being said, how are we doing for power generation? Okay, we got lots of, lots of stuff going. So yeah, anyways, that that is kind of the full loop of what you missed in the last episode. Uh, we built this platform and some other stuff. So today, I want to move on and get going with doing some upgrades to our automation. I feel like, I'm feeling like we're, we're... Oh, I shouldn't do that anymore. Uh, we don't really have a lot of room. Um, I, we're getting to the point now where we need like the basics. Like we need nails or screws or whatever they are. We need coils. So we actually kind of have to step up our production and build quite a large facility now like we really need to automate everything because we're getting to the point where we need to do things like steel manufacturing and the recipes are so nested now that to do it manually just takes way too long okay so we're back and what we need to start doing is taking advantage of these things we're storing and start converting them into things that are more useful so i I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do this. This is this is all new to me, so we're just going to kind of slap some stuff down. Uh, I'm not a master designer of <laughs> factories, so I think we're just going to start with what I think makes the most sense, which is what I want to do is have a, a line of these constructors, and each one's going to kind of build the next step See if we get that right. That's good. Each one's going to build the next step in our production line, right? So, for example, here you go. So, I want to take steel rods and then I want to make screws, right? But I don't want to. I still want steel rods. So we can only. I don't want to take all of our stuff and put it in here. Uh, I only want to take a certain amount. And then once we have, actually, let's take a look here. Can I build an assembler? I can't. What do I need? Some of those frames. And then from here, once we have screws, we should be able to assemble uh, screws and plates, I believe, or whatever, into the next kind of item, right? So say this guy right here, or the hardened steel, or the hardened planks, or whatever they are, right? So that means we need to feed this into an assembler. Um, but before that, we want to feed it into a storage unit because ideally we want to be able to split like bulk store it and then split it? Does that make any sense? Like we want to build up a buffer and I, I just don't know, I don't know how how this is gonna work. So we're, I don't know. Like I don't know if we just say, put everything into a storage room. Like we stack a bunch of storage units over here, for example. Um, 
which could be a thing, right? So let's uh, let's just do it. Uh, that being said, let's just get some basic walls. Uh, wall, right? Yeah. And I'm not sure which way we're going. Which way do we? Which way do we do the design? Okay, that's on the outside. That's on the outside. Okay, so rebar. So rebar on the outside. That's what we want. Um, so let's grab this and let's set this to four. Right there we go. Perfect. So we're gonna do that and start building up a wall around the edge here. Uh, encroaching clearance. What clearance are we encroaching? Oh, are these sitting on the outside? Oh, uh oh, are these too close? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we actually these these power generators are too close, but that's okay. They're gonna actually go bye bye in a little bit. So let's think here. We're gonna come out from here and then we're gonna put a storage unit on this side. So let's just assume that that's gonna happen uh, once we fix the other it's five, six, seven. We fix the clearance issues on that side. So we must want to make sure we hug over here. So let's hug this side. And that kind of looks right. There we go, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna take the output of this one, right? And we're gonna go right in there. Bam, okay, so that's awesome. And then from here, oh yeah, we got lots of room. Uh, in fact, we probably could have moved it. Oh man, this game, this game is so difficult. I gotta pick this up. This game is really difficult to estimate where things need to go. So let's do that one more time. And let's go over one. Okay. And right there. Perfect. Yeah, that, that looks better. Centered. Okay, now we can pull this back and put the conveyor belt in. Okay, so we're gonna store whatever comes out of here. Now, from here, we're gonna want to split this off into a variety of production things. So we might have an assembler or two over here uh, that are gonna take some of these pieces. And so that means we'll have to have room for a splitter right here. So that's where we have logistics and we have a conveyor splitter. And basically we'll line it up like so and just put it right in the middle. Bam, all right, nice. So now we can take the output of this and it can go three ways basically. And we can do whatever we want with it, which is great. Uh, I don't know if, can we, can we disable? I don't think you can actually disable it's just gonna go in there. It's just gonna automatically take it out, but that's fine. That'll be the buffer. All right, so in this one, we want this to manufacture screws, which means it needs to take, and this is how I don't, I don't understand the item sorting. Like for example, in here, we have plates and bars, but we don't want, we don't want the plates to go in here. And I don't know if it's smart enough to know that. So let's just, let's just try. Let's just, um, not power lines, right there, okay. And um, I think we want another splitter right here. Right, so, ah, that's what we can do. So if we put a splitter here, we're learning together, folks. I'm just gonna sort this out with you on camera, trying to figure out what's going on here. So we're gonna take a splitter, right? We're not merging. Can I get the right way? Is that the right way? It is. Okay. And then from here, we're gonna put in there. And then in here, we have plates. Oh, did that not work? Okay. No, no. No, I want it to be, okay, I guess, let me just break this one sec. Let's just bring it from here into here. There we go. I think it was trying to go the other way. Okay, so it's taking plates, but it can't put the plates in there. So it's not useful yet. Now, what else can we use plates for? Let's go look at our recipe box, because we've got um, we've got a combo. It, it's kind of weird. We're kind of, it, it kind of doesn't make a lot of sense because we're splitting and storing and splitting and storing, and, and that's, that's no good, right? And so ultimately what we want to have happen here is we want to have all of this production to actually just be, let's change the production, select the recipe. We just want rods coming out of here. We don't want any more plates coming out of that machine. 
And what we can do over here is we can actually switch this to just plates for now. And that, that'll clear up that confusion. And we won't have to actually split anything. If we don't want to. But what we can do is we can actually have rods um, coming into both of these. So we can make two sets of screws. Can I just curve it or do like that? Like that, and then that, and a nice little bend. So in here, no, I don't want that, I want this. So this is just gonna make a massive jam probably until we clean it all up. Cause it's like, I can't actually go inside this buffer uh, because I can't make the stuff I need to make. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, let me see here. Can I actually, let me just try to store all the stuff over here. Okay, so we should have the necessary pieces for a an assembler here. I've never made one of these before, so this will be fun. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna take because we're producing a lot of these screws, right? Uh, we're gonna be producing probably way too many, and we're gonna want to store a bunch, and we're gonna do that here. As you can see, it is slowly storing them up. Uh, and, but we're going to need to use them in fabrication, so let's go ahead and do that first. But we're going to want to store about 50% of them just so we have a stockpile for our own use. Okay, so that... Okay, let's see here. I, I can't... I can never tell. What are we lined up on? Is it... is it that one? Okay, let's do that. Alright, perfect. I think that was the right way to go. Okay. Uh, oh wait, what's this? Oh, okay, so, oh, oh, okay, actually, let's just, uh, let's break that. I think this is, yeah, yeah, I get it now. Right, because this takes two items, this brings in two items, aha, right, and we can do more. So this one requires plates and screws, and then this guy requires plates and bars, so the first thing we want to make with one assembler is basically the bars and then we're going to feed it back into another assembler. Yes. Um, so that being said, I think we want to get rid of this ramp. And then we can put another assembler over here, right? I can't afford it probably. Or can I? Well, it looks like I can actually afford it. Yeah, okay, so then we're going to jam an assembler here. This is going to get really, really messy. But this is all about the learning process. So then we can take the outputs. Oh, uh, get the right way. There we go. So we can take the outputs from the other assembler. <laughs> this looks so bad. Uh, can I actually run a power line from there? I can. All right, good. And we'll probably have to run it from here. To another pole. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so messy. Just put a pole there. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what we need the upgraded power poles because this is getting getting nutastic. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. That to there. Perfect. Okay, so that's all powered up. So in here, we're going to say we want to make those. And then we're going to take the output of this guy. So one of these outputs, let's make it nice and neat looking uh, to here and go like this and then, wait, what? Oh, I'm out of plates. Yeah. So basically we're going to take the output from here and it's going to be one of the inputs for this guy. So this allows us to make the modular frames and <laughs> we're going to need some iron. We're going to need some, we're going to need some of this stuff. So, I think what we can do here... All right, I need plates. Give me the plates! Give me the plates! Give me all your plates! Did I put them in here? There we go. That works. So, we'll take the output... Because we've got... We're going to have a lot of uh, rods coming in here. So, let's just grab that. And we're going to make a mess of things. How are we going to get the output in there? Uh, this, <laughs> I don't know. This is, this is really bad. Uh, let's go nine. Let's get a new ramp in here. Okay, come on, come on. Stick to the right spot. There we go. All right, so we've got a ramp here. 
and we'll just run it from over there, I guess. That'll work. Like so. And like so. And make it nice and neat. This is a waste. Ugh. Oh no! I'm stuck! What happened? It stuck me inside of it. Oh, that's weird. This usually doesn't happen. Alright, so let's grab that. And we'll go to there. And then we'll come around here. We come this way. To a point where we can bring it down. Bam! Nice. Okay, so that is going to feed the bars into this guy. And then the output... Did I break that? What happened here? There we go. That was weird. Uh, yeah, so now that is working. So this is loading up with screws. And now we just need to feed it plates. Which should be interesting. As we need to... <laughs> bring the plates from over here. <laughs> this is where this is where your factory design gets really, 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 really crazy. Okay, so what am I putting in this guy over here? This guy's doing bars too, huh? No, we need to change you from that to plates. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to get rid of. Oh my gosh, we got so many bars. Um, hmm, can I? Let me see here. Can we store? Yeah, I'm going to move some stuff around. Okay, so I think using the stackable... Um, yes. <laughs> using using these stackable conveyor pads. Uh, what are they called here exactly? Uh, da -da -da, conveyor pull stackable. I think this is going to allow us to bring stuff around and over. Like, for example, in this case... We need both these materials to go into this machine here. Like we need, sorry, this machine right here. We need the iron plates, right? So uh, it behooves us to bring the materials around in an orderly fashion to the other side. So let's see here. Let's um, let's turn that into an eight. We don't need to make that. I don't, I don't know if I can just put this anywhere. Um, Kinda, I guess. So I think what I'll do is I'll put it here and then here and see how this works here. So the goal being, aha. Hmm. May need that to go up a little higher. I don't, actually, maybe I can connect it up. Up like that. Nice. I think that's a little cheaty, but whatever. We'll make it work like that. Ah, I like that. <laughs> now, now they can kind of be out of the way. So what are you lining up on? Can I line it up this way? Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna bring the, the panels. And I guess we'll, <laughs> God, whoever, whoever makes uh, like factories for a life like for their job, is probably just absolutely smacking themselves in the face right now. They're just like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> I guess we'll have to make like raceways, essentially, where there's gonna just be corridors of conveyor belts. See, what I need to do is I need to get down here. So, um, but I don't wanna block that off, so let's go eight. And right there, and then I'm gonna assume Like that. Yeah. Anyways, we're just we're just gonna ghettoify it for now, and then we can optimize it later. <laughs> I, you know, I say that now, but you know what's gonna happen? It's not gonna happen. We're just gonna build it, and we're gonna forget about it. It's just gonna become this this crazy. Oh, here we go again. Uh, this crazy nutty factory. <laughs> Hey, whatever. It looks cool. All right, so everything is outputting. This is gonna back up really fast. Um, this is all all loaded now. We should start seeing some plates coming ever so slowly. Yeah, they're coming. And then those will go in here and they'll start making reinforced plates. 
at whatever speed they can, and then eventually they'll make it into here, making the modular frames. And we'll do the same trick. We'll probably put a splitter here and split 50% of the materials out. I don't, it, it may not be efficient. You can see everything is backed up. Like it is jammed. We are, we are not making things at the most efficient rate possible. Um, no. So we got two and three. So that guy actually, we really want him kind of joining up and helping to produce more than one. I guess one thing I could do is I could grab the buffer out of here. We've got all these extra extra bits. We're making, we've made so many, so many iron bars. Like <laughs> there's just an unlimited amount. All right. So, oh yeah, it is actually working now. Let's, uh, let's uh, put, put, fill up the buffer. That way it can move as quickly as possible. We might need to do the speed upgrades in some of these things. Okay, so then it's getting that and it's getting iron bars. And then coming out of here, we should see, let's see if I can jam a storage unit in here. Let's put it right there. Super janky, super janky, but whatever. Oh no, I can't put it in? Invalid shape. Okay, I guess we need to move this down just a bit. Can we even do that? Okay, how about we put it like that? Ah! Gosh. <laughs> this is not how you want to do this, folks. Uh, but whatever. There we go. Boom! Hey, look at that. Frames are being made. Nice. All right, so that'll store those frames in there, which is good. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty great. I think that's uh, a good start to the day. Let's see if I can get up here. We <laughs> I just, I really, the whole goal today was just to figure out how these assemblers work, to show you guys a little bit of stuff. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we've got power running. It seems to not be an issue with the coal. Obviously, we're backed up. We've got a ton of coal. I don't even have to worry about it. Uh, we've learned some stuff with some conveyor belts. I think what ultimately needs to happen now is we need to build ourselves like a real factory floor uh, where everything is kind of lined up properly. So we, we, we go to the point where, say this is the final product. We want this to be the final product. We need to go to the point where this is coming out and it's going into storage and like have a, like a deep storage. Hey, look, the truck's over there. I think it's out of fuel, finally. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it goes into deep storage and it's just done, right? And, it, and then we can access it or pull from it later. And I think we'll get some better logistics upgrades as we tear up. Um, and then just kind of work away back from the final production. So like this assembler, we're making these reinforced things. This assembler that is make sorry that's making the reinforced things this is making what what are these by the way these are modular frames right and so uh, we're kind of getting to the point where we are making all the basic components that we need anyways enough babbling we did a lot of work today we learned a lot of stuff i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did make sure you bang on the like button down below crash that subscribe button as always love to hear from you in the comments down below my name is crash we're out <laughs>